It's everyone's favourite time of the week. Come on, admit it. You know it's true. Back on Full Time Devils, Francis Maxwell here from TYT Sports to talk some tactics. Crystal Palace host Manchester United this weekend. Let's talk some tactics. So here is the lineup. I expect Manchester United to basically face up against Crystal Palace. I do have a couple of points which I would like to reiterate to Louis van Gaal. And hopefully, if we shout it loud enough, he will hear this that Martial should be up top. That is number one. Come on, please. Can we start this movement? Just even from fans that, that aren't fans of Manchester United, just from a neutral fan, he is a striker. He plays well out wide left, and that just shows his ability to, to adjust a position that he should not be playing. He has to be the forward, and I will talk about this specifically as my main focus of tactics when I get to my trusty iPad. But apart from that, Damian, Jones, Smolin, Rojo, Schneiderlin, and I don't think Carrick should, will be playing. I would like to see him in there. I think that, uh, especially against uh, someone like Crystal Palace, I'd like to see Carrick come in instead of Schweinsteiger just to try and provide that defensive sta uh, stability Sorry, in front of the back line. Maybe push Schneiderlin a little bit up, but I do think Schneiderlin and Schweinsteiger will probably start in there again. Now, this is where I want to make a few points. So, Mata, I would play Young, and I'll tell you why that. Mata, Young, and Rooney. The reason Rooney's in there is because I just don't think Louis van Gaal's going to drop him. We talked to uh, Adam uh, McCullough over here, and he believes that Louis van Gaal needs to give Rooney that kick up the arse that he needs. Can bleep that out if need be, sorry. Um, but... He needs to be able to, 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 I would say, adjust to a new role. He's not a striker anymore. That's why Martial has to be up top. In this game, I would still like to see Herrera because a huge part of this game is going to be drawn out the two holding midfielders from Crystal Palace's back line, whether it be Kabai, whether it be uh, MacArthur, whether it be whoever else is playing in there. I think that they have two holding midfielders that sit deep, Ledley even, um, and I think that what they have to do is have someone in there to connect the pieces, and Herrera does that better than Wayne Rooney for me. But the main focus of this to start off, is, is Crystal Palace's two centre defenders. Now, it sometimes changes, but what I seen against Leicester was lapses in concentration at the back for them and a lack of pace. Hangeland usually plays centre back, so that is the forefront of this tactical video. Play Martial, he has so much pace, and what he can do is what happens with Crystal Palace, right? If they drop deep, they become, I would say, uh, they're not aligned as they should be. So when they drop deep, what happens is Hangeland likes to try and step up to the man. And if, he, if Martial can push Crystal Palace into their own box like Manchester City did, where you'll see the goals there from the Capital One Cup, they basically had their uh, chances inside the box to choose whoever they wanted to pass to because Crystal Palace, when forced into their own box, don't know how to defend as well as they were doing at the start of the season. They have lost three games on the trot and conceded a lot of goals because they become dis in disarray at the back. They become... Uh, I, I would say misadjusted in their back four. Their full backs often sit back because they don't have the support. When they play uh, attacking midfielders out in the wide areas as they do, that's a, where a lot of Crystal Palace's attacking threat comes from. This leaves them isolated in the full back area, so the only thing they do naturally is drop deep. And they drop deep, and what happens is Hangeland tries to step onto the man, and it creates this seam in here where you see Manchester City exploiting. You see Leicester, when, uh, what happened in Leicester's example is Vardy got onto the, uh, basically onto a through pass and burst through far too fast for the two centre-backs. What Martial does is he pushes the back line as a whole. Watch the games he plays at the back. Defenders become scared of his pace. They drop all the way into their own box, and it creates a massive gap in here where I would like Herrera to be able to pick up the pass in there, if Wayne Rooney plays in there, that's what he has to be focused on. Not focusing on trying to run his socks off, which I know many people think that makes up for his lack of contribution to the game. I, I know he's going to work hard, but he has to be that linking piece between Martial and someone like Schweinsteiger or Schneiderlin, who gets the ball, try and say Schweinsteiger and Schneiderlin 10 times in a row, it's pretty hard, gets the ball into their feet, and it's that direct pass that I talked about, which United did so well against Everton, that has to come back against Crystal Palace, because what will happen is Hangeland either will step to try and mark Martial, and that'll be perfect if they can go one-on-one -on -one with him, but they'll force himself into the back line, and that's why I wanted to bring up Ashley Young, because Ashley Young plays so well, against teams when he's isolated one-on-one. -on -one. Crystal Palace did not give their fullbacks enough support. You do not see uh, 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 any of their attacking midfielders really covering because what happens is they push forward on the left-hand side quite a lot. That's one of their danger areas. So United need to be comfortable in maybe pushing Swine, uh, Schneiderlin across. Sorry, I keep mixing them two up. Need to be comfortable in pushing Schneiderlin across to give Damian some backup. But what this will allow is someone like Ashley Young to sit higher up the field. 
Get the ball out to him. Use him as one of the uh, the isolated balls when you find when you when you try to counter attack. Because what they do is they'll push forward all their attacking midfielders and they'll leave their fullbacks exposed for a one-on-one -on -one situation. And when they do attack Crystal Palace, they try to push their back line high up. It's kind of funny because I'm talking about how they'll drop deep. When they're defending, they'll drop into their own box, and that's what we want them to do. But when they're attacking, as you've seen against Leicester, they'll try and push high up, and they'll try and knock the ball around the back four. That is a perfect chance for Manchester United to counter-attack them and basically use the pace to get in behind in this area and take their defenders one-on-one. -on -one. So the key to that is play Martial on the last man. Push them deep. Allow Hangeland basically to, to, to try and man-mark man him and it's basically just going to be a foot race between him and Hangeland and I take Martial every time. So uh, the, the bottom line is they're there for the taking. I know the tactics jumped around a little bit but that's what I'm here to do is to say the things that I think has to be said and some of them you may agree with, some of you may disagree with but I think everyone can stand by this point. Let's knock on Louis van Gaal's door. Martial has to play up top. Agree or disagree? Let us know in the comment section below. Come over to TYT Sports, subscribe for plenty more tactics talk and football talk from around the world. And as always, thanks again for having me on.